Hey Colossinus community, it's Artem from Colossinus School here and today we're going to talk about handstand and what is the best for beginners learn back to the wall handstand or face to the wall handstand first what's the difference and what you should choose and what you have to keep in mind let's get started Guys, I want to mention something in the really beginning before you already get all those brilliant tips about back to the wall handstand and face to the wall handstand. If you want to know more and learn the handstand from scratch, from really zero level, or you want to improve it and get pro in a balancing and a handstand, we have brilliant course, handstand course with video course and a book inside. So check it out, all the links in the description and also I will uh, put a link somewhere in the corner out there. You just can click now or after the video, if you will like it, just uh, go there in the description, uh, open it, uh, get the description of the course and if you need it, get it and become a really good handstander. So first of all, we should take a look at the difference between a back to the wall handstand and kick up into it and also face to the wall. So I will show really quick and then we continue our discuss. Back to the wall firstly. And face to the wall. So take a look at the things which are different. And the first one is the kick up. The kick up in the back to the wall handstand is for beginners easier because you just need to kick, you just need to take care about your head, don't move your shoulders too much and just lean on a wall. When you do face to the wall kick up and actually just not a kick up but walking on the wall, you need a lot of shoulders power to get into position and you also waste a lot of energy while going there and you're already not really focused on technique in final position if you are of course beginner so for beginners better uh, back to the wall kick up but it's also less efficient if we talk about technique of handstand because when you do a kick you get a banana position from the scratch but when you do face to the wall you can control all the points and get good hold position for the handstand in final position if we talk about final position the actual handstand back to the wall and face to the wall there are many differences, and we go through the main which is linked with the technique so first one when you do back to the wall you get arched position anyways because you need to lean you need to take the wall with your legs and that's why you get the banana handstand from the really beginning and fix this problem is not really easy with the wall because you anyways need to uh, get a little bit back and while kicking you need to get even further out of the wall to not hit your head with the wall so that's a little bit uh, different from face to the wall where you can get really close and doing hollow back position opening your shoulders fully you can get perfect almost perfect line for the handstand so back to the wall is incorrect but face to the wall is better from technique side but also harder and now you will probably get logical question why we actually need back to the wall handstand if face to the wall handstand in all the terms is better and of course the answer is also logical and that's for beginners because it's easier to kick it's easier to get the position and longer you can practice with back to the wall because you need that enormous amount of shoulders power to get in the position 
And as always, I won't leave you with this information alone, just, you know, uh, back to the wall is easier, good for beginners, but not that perfect. I also want to give you a few advice how to make it even better sometimes than face to the wall handstand and not that hard in getting the position. And the first tip you should find the low bar like that, or if you still want to do it back to the wall, you can just get a little bit easier or just put something on the wall which will be just a little bit further from the wall so you get a room to kick up. So I will use the bar, that's the easiest way. And what you should do is place your feet on the almost on the line with the bar in this field and just to kick up, just that. You can go even closer like this and get a perfect line, almost perfect line with no banana because you don't need to lean on something. You are in the line with supported stuff, I can say like that, uh, with the thing you can put your legs and rest so you get better position, almost perfect line, depends on where you place your palms and just move further. We also will use the bar because we already know that it's cool for body position, overall body position. And now we're talking about shoulders position. It's pretty uh, common advice, but uh, you anyways should do that. And anyways, I want to mention it. It's about shoulder shrugs. It's uh, common for those who not really um, flexible in their shoulders, they are stuck in it and they get banana position because of that. For those beginners who isn't really ready for chest protraction, ribs engagement and, and all this hard stuff which are for pros already who can do simultaneously everything like opening the shoulders and working with the chest. So what you should do is just simply uh, shrugging into handstand position even if you do banana and your uh, your chest is round like that and so on and so on, right? So just just push the floor away Just that so I will show you the difference between the first variation when you just relaxed in a back to the wall position and Really trying to push the floor away That's how it looks when you relaxed and that's shrugs. I'm not using my chest, not using anything. Even my core is relaxed, but I'm trying to push the floor away. This habit is gonna be really helpful, uh, helpful in future when you will uh, do everything together, opening shoulders and so on. The last one piece of advice is for those who aren't really confident with their uh, lower back position and especially pelvis and anyways wanted to make it good even with the back to the wall and it's pretty easy if you already used all the previous advices that's gonna be pretty easy for you so the first thing you should practice in just on the floor uh, on your legs right so just uh, take your pelvis make a posterior pelvic tilt just try to rotate just try to uh, take your bones with the thumbs and just to rotate it you will feel how your glutes will engage you also should tighten it and also core uh, get used to that position and trying to transfer it uh, to the wall uh, first of all when you kick with a bar with a lower bar or really close to the wall uh, just get relaxed but then try to remember all those stuff you did on the floor and just transfer it like that take the position you are relaxed and so on but then you remember that something is wrong and you should fix it and you just do that and getting better line much better line and better handstand back to the wall you already close to perfect line you already can get practice in it you can uh, improve your time of hold and get, then uh, move further with all the other um, progressions and that's it that's it for today guys if you like that video just thumbs up 
and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it so far and see you in the next video hopefully it was helpful and hopefully you will use all the tips inside the videos not just watch it and enjoy it but really get progress after it that's the main uh, goal for me today we're going to talk about handstand what is the best for beginners and as always i won't leave you with this information alone just you know there are many different and we go through the main 